Oh God! Whoa! What's up, y'all? Welcome back, man. It is Taco Tuesday, so you know what we're up to, man. We are over here at Rose's Cafe. We're getting the fishing session started right tonight, and it is tonight, man. It is 6.53, so we got like an hour before sunset to hit a couple ponds close by. We are gonna go in here, stuff our faces. Huge shout out to Clocks and Colors, man. If y'all have never heard of them, they just sent me this sick necklace. They have some amazing jewelry, man. Bracelets, rings, necklaces. If it's your thing, go ahead and check them out. Uh, they got a men and women's line, so uh, do them a solid. Go peep the website. I'm gonna put it down at the top of the description, but for now, let's go ahead and grab a bite before we get out and fish. All right, man, that was delicious. I think I had five tacos or something. Devin was handing me all hers anyways. It's time to fish, let's go. Check it out, man. Never hit these before. They look pretty dang good. Let's get out here. Man, I almost forgot I picked these up from Guggen HQ. Check me out. I got new watermelon red flake baby hogs. I'll tell you what, I really like these baby hogs. I mean, this is something special. These things are totally legit. Quarter ounce Wu tungsten weight, Guggen hammer hook. I don't have a Texas rig set. What do you have? Chatterbait? I got uh, I'm gonna use your Texas rig then. Right. Actually, I'll just throw the jig for a second then. All right, scratch the baby hog. I was hyping it up. I mean, I'll throw it on. Okay, Devin's gonna throw the baby hog. I'm gonna throw the jig. Now that we've got things situated 20 minutes later, <laughs> I don't know if this is a good uh, jiggy type of spot, but we're about to find out. It looks sandy, actually. I'm not picking up any grass on the jig. That's good. I'm gonna let Devin take this spot where the water flows in. That's gotta be like the honey hole right there. No way. Wow, that was fast. I think I'm on too. Oh, I just had bites. You scared my fish. All right, this is the feeding zone. Wait, will it rescue? Oh no, it's me. Devin just found out she wasn't filming. She was pretty mad, <laughs> but I got it. I said bad words. It's all right, we can just do it again. Hey, take that other pole, would you? Just put it back. Gotcha. Oh, good one. Good one. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Oh, did you see all those bait fish? Oh, this isn't a bad one. We're upgrading. He did some smushy splash. Took my little trench on. Man, there's a whole bunch of bait fish, whole bunch of shad all up in there. So as soon as this guy hit and I sent the hook and he went jumping out of the water, all those little bait fish came flying out of the water too. That's like two fish in, I don't even know, five minutes. A really pretty fish too. Oh, oh no, other way, other way. Where are you, where are you going? Come on, yeah, there we go. So you can see something swimming out. Oh. Gotcha, look at it, look at it. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. Oh my God. Not gonna lie, this guy's pushing three. Here's the scale. No way. Look at this Dude, guy. bigger in person. I know, he might Whoa. be pushing three, he's fat. Coming out of that little drain with the pipe? <laughs> what? Oh my. Give me a quarter? Goodness. Oh my God, this is my third fish. Wesson, have you gotten one? I haven't gotten any. What? I've gotten bites. Look at that. The baby hog, dude, my idea. My idea, but it was your Texas rig, so I had to give it to her. Get that thing back in the water so I, I can have a chance to catch two. You just go catch your fish. All right. All right, she's going to take care of him, get some pictures. I got to get a fish, man. Oh, oh, oh no, I had a fish and I didn't set the hook. Dang it, they're fired up. I'm just gonna go straight for a bandito. This is gonna do me just right. Watermelon red flake is the color they want. He's all right, man. I was swimming it, nice little fishy. Heck yeah, man, evening pond session. All right guys, my first fish, they are stacked in here. Let's keep going, man. Let's keep going. No slowing down, please. Hey, what's up? Ooh, hello. Bye-bye. Oh, oh. No, oh, I took it out of his mouth. Oh no, he took my pinchers. Took my pinchers, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. I think they'll still go after this. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> he went flying. He went flying. I think my trench hog flew over there, if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to spook these guys, so I'm going to go over here, toss this guy back in the water, and then go back over there, grab my, my little mutilated trench hog. All right. Bye, bud. 
I'm gonna come over here and hit this second drain. Yep, first cast. By the second drain, y'all. He was right where we needed him to be. Come on in. Man, I think we've caught five or six already. They're, they're on tonight. We caught them on a good evening. We'll see you, bud. Uh, we're fishing for bass. Yeah, she, she pulled in a good one. No! Oh no! I just broke off! Oh no, I checked my line, it felt okay. Who knows, that one might have been a freaking good one. Dang it. I mean, like y'all saw, we just pulled out that little over three pounder. That was on that totally destroyed, messed up trench hog that wasn't even a trench hog anymore. All we can do is re-rig, get a good mindset, and cast back in there. Got him, got him, there we go. Out deep, skiing him in, little guy. All right, he was swimming towards me. I like set that hook and it was still a lot of slack. That was funny. Devin's on. Gotcha. Woo! <laughs> Doubled up. Get up in here. Bye, bud. It's one of those nights. It's a little too easy. All right, bud. We want something bigger. I need to. I need to top Devin's three. Get out of here. Thank you, bud. <laughs> Smoked it as I was swimming it in, like fast. Holy cow. A crankbait would annihilate. That was insane. <laughs> was not expecting that one, boys. I mean, I was like burning the bandito bug in. He was flapping. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> that was something right there. I don't even know now. I've lost track. There's so much activity like all along this bank over here. Oh, see? As soon as you get a fish out of here, it's like so many shad just go crazy. Like that. Come here. <laughs> Y'all gotta go get in there. You guys go, go right ahead. <laughs> Do you wanna let him go? He's really feisty. Mama, daddy. Hold him tight. Go drop him in, go drop him in. Yeah. <laughs> Get up here. We are not coming unhooked. Sweet. What? Okay. The creature stuff was definitely getting more bites. Oh god, that was oh, I don't know. Oh! It's a bullhead. There we go. See you, bud. There he goes. Yeah. Out with the old and with the new. Devin's on. How many? Oh! He came off at the bank. Devin just had one too. They're smoking it. <laughs> See ya. Got him. There we go. All right. Another good one. Oh, I lost my local, lost my bait. And I'm about to lose my bass. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. See ya. Y'all, we are wrapping things up. Still casting, man, trying to get some fish here, but I just wanted to hop on here, let you guys know, if we don't get anything else before light fades to where the GoPros can't see nothing, we're just gonna catch up with you guys back at the house. I will see y'all there. Okay, last minute Shirah. Oh, dude, yes, <laughs> on the chatterbait, dude, that's like three and a half plus right there. Dude. That is so cool, Daddy. You right, get so, a point. So just a regular old cheap so, chatterbait. So, Daddy, you still got five more points. Yes, I did. So, <laughs> you won't stop. <laughs> no, please do two seconds. Babe, can you help? Four. Look at that. Uh, Oh, 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 hey, that Rapala scale, baby, you yeah. gotta get one of those. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're back at the house. Thank you guys for joining us on an epic evening. 
of fishing, man. These are the days we dream about. Literally, where you can go to a new spot we had never fished before, not familiar. We kind of picked an area where the water was flowing in, thinking that's where the bait fish might be uh, getting pushed to, and then there's the bass coming in to feed. We were absolutely right. Literally, we had like an hour's worth of time to fish before the sunset. I was getting nervous. Like, are we gonna have time to even like catch anything? You know, you go out some days and you try and get two or three bites in a day, and uh, this was not like that at all. I mean, we got two or three bites within minutes, and then Devin was just boom, boom, boom. You know, when the bite's hot, you gotta just kind of get back in there. I mean, you don't want to be wasting time. You might have a 15 minute window some nights where it's just like boom, 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 and then it stops. And it's like, what just happened? They were just on fire. You just got to understand, man, when the fish are biting, get on them. If you're fortunate enough to have a night like this, just get back in the water. But anyways, y'all, thank you for watching another bank fishing episode. They're not going away. Some of you guys have asked if we're going to stop doing them now that we've got the boat. We absolutely are not. In fact, it's in the shop getting the upgrades. The kayaks we have just picked up, though, we grabbed those tonight. We're going to go fishing with those tomorrow. We, we're just trying to diversify as much as possible. Do not forget to check out clocks and colors, man. Love this thing right here. Check out their whole lineup. Link in the description. We'll catch y'all tomorrow. Peace.